Hello there. Sometimes when you're out flying your drone, because of the CAA regulations about keeping the drone in visual line of sight at all times, it's not practical to just stand in one spot and fly the drone off. That's okay if you're doing a, a high wide shot somewhere fairly close to you and you can see the drone at all times. But sometimes the drone's going to go a bit further and may circle round the object that you're filming and it may go out of your visual line of sight and that's not allowed as we know we have to stay within the CAA regulations at all times so I'm going to show you how you can do just that you can go to places where, where if you're standing in the one spot you would lose the visual line of sight But using this method, that's not going to happen. And it's quite simple and obvious. It means that you're on the move. You're not standing still in the one place filming the drone. You're going with the drone. But to do that, it means that your home point is going to change. And practically, that means that if you have a problem and the drone tries to return to home, it won't be returning to you and it'll be returning to where it originally took off from and you don't really want that so I'm going to show you today how to update the home point while you're on the move and I'm also going to show you why not just for the CAA regulations but sometimes it's much better practice to be on the move and follow the drone and in a lot of my videos I'm not standing in one place I may look as if I am but that's the magic of video editing. Quite often I'm on the move. I'm going to show you me being on the move today and how it works. So let's just get Lassie configured and up in the air. If you're going to be on the move and you have the fly mode pack, it's quite handy to take the bag because you've got your spare batteries in there. It means that if you run low, you don't have to return to your home point or wherever, wherever you have your batteries. You've got them with you, you can just bring the drone home and change so <clears throat> oh well she's three-legged today <laughs> right so let's get the bird up in the air up she goes say hello to youtube lassie Okay, so this is going to be a wee bit tricky because I don't often try to film a narration while I'm doing this kind of thing. But uh, here's an example of one of the reasons why it's practical. Just let me get a hold of this. One of the reasons why it might be more practical. Now you have to forgive me if uh, this goes a bit a little bit off to the side because I'm, I'm flying the drone at the same time. So here, here's uh, where it may sometimes be a, a good bit of practice to, to go with a drone, to walk with a drone. If you're going to be doing a bit of precise flying, for example, through tree branches or, or through, through small openings like this, And it's much easier to do if you're actually with the drone and you can line it up and fly, well, as long as you don't have, have the, the, any wind. You can line it up. And we do, we do have a bit of wind here today, so this isn't going to be as, as easy as I thought. You can line it up a bit better and fly her through, through spots that it would be impossible to do if you were much further away if you're back standing in the same point. So quite often, that, that is quite a howling wind that we've got there, so you're going to have to be really careful. But if you're, if you're close to the drone and you've lined it up and you don't have a lot of wind, 
you can fly her much more precisely than you would be able to if you're standing at the home point. So sometimes it will make for good footage. Now, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, but we have a, a subscriber to the channel, one of the members of the channel actually, uh, Divin, Divina A. Don't know if that's how he pronounces his, his title, but he does a lot of flying. If you look at his channel, it's a fantastic example of some really precise flying uh, between branches of trees and, 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 and different things like that. And I think this is maybe the technique that he uses. He'll get close to the, to, to the drone uh, and, and fly through these really precise. My flying's really bad at the moment, and I'm sorry about that. That's because I'm, I'm trying to, to keep this, this, uh, this camera steady that's on me too. So anyway, that, that, so that's one of the reasons why you might want to, to uh, be on the move, as well as keeping the, the drone in visual line of sight at all times. So to update the home point, you press in the three buttons and that'll bring you into the menu. I'm going to turn the phone charging on because this phone's getting a little bit low. But once you're in this menu here, if you go to safety and scroll down, you'll see that here it says update home point. If you click on the arrow there, it gives you a few options. The option that I always use is I'll click on the controller icon. And what that does then is it'll update the home point. And it tells you there, home point updated. So now the home point is right here where we are, where the controller is. The other way of doing it is if you're going to, if you're going to be going on a walk and you know where you're going, going to be going, you can drag the home point and change it there and the home point's updated now the home point's a distance away from me as reflected here on the distance it shows you we're now 142 meters away so i hope that was quite useful for you and uh, you, you maybe learned something that you didn't know before uh, and i'll see you on the next one